Hey everybody, hope everybody had a great holiday season. I'm filming this on, what's today? Uh, on the 31st, so New Year's Eve. Uh, I will get this up shortly. Hopefully I can edit it all quickly enough so it's up either tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, but this will be up uh, here shortly. This is the video where I'll be going over all of the slicer settings, getting everything sliced up for the Spider-Man 2099 suit the full suit i'm gonna print all of it attempting to print it all on my k1 max uh, without using any of my other three printers i have all the film in here so i have the blue that i like from uh, this is elegoo pla this is all pla from elegoo i have the red for all of the other parts like the spider the big chest logo obviously you have here the eyes and any other accents i think the claws are also red so i'm gonna be getting this so I'm going to get this on the printer, and you guys are going to be able to watch me slice everything up. I will be most likely updating this series on TikTok. I will be doing a video once most of the parts are printed and lay them out so we can all take a look at them together here on YouTube. And then we're going to put it all together. I still need to figure out what type of bodysuit or what type of underneath clothing I'm going to put it on. So whether that's like a full, like just blue suit underneath or if I'm going to try to do something a little bit different. Uh, I'm still debating on that, but luckily I have some time when it comes to printing all of this stuff. Uh, none of this is sponsored by anybody. Uh, this is all for my money, so any failures that happen it will be felt in my pocket. And hopefully there aren't too many or too severe of a failure. But yeah, so Elegoo has nothing to do with this. Creality has nothing to do with this. Nobody has anything to do with this but me. So feel free to watch, watch me slice everything up. You'll be able to see my Orca profile, which is actually the one that I use. The one that I use is from printables.com. So if you guys are looking for a great profile, you can use that. Or if you guys watch uh, Uncle Jesse, I believe he also has his own profile. It's based off of that profile. But anyways, regardless, you can find multiple profiles on this thing. Um, Uncle Jesse's, I believe, is exclusively through Patreon. So if you're not a Patreon subscriber from Uncle Jesse, you can't get it. But you can get it from Printables. And you just need to run all of your basic calibration tests to get the profile dialed in for your machine and your location, wherever that may be. It's going to be different for everybody. But without any further ado, guys, let's go ahead and get into the slicing of this thing. Hey, guys. All right, so here we go. We're in Orca Slicer. I have the Spider-Man 2099 full suit body armor from DO3D. Up, I believe I said DOD3D in the beginning of this video. I, I claim to have it right. I don't have it right. It's DO3D. So anyways, I can see that most of the things here are already cut up into multiple little pieces. So there's a lot here. There's a lot of pieces here. I didn't realize that it was this large of a job. But I said I was going to do it. We're going to do it. I might only just do a couple of big pieces so you guys can see my settings, my slicing process, uh, what I do with certain things. Uh, in terms of walls, infill, things like that. And I did mention it in earlier, but you can get the profile for the K1 Max from printables.com. There is a K1 Max Orca Slicer profile you guys can get there. I just recommend running all of your other tests after getting it set up. So running your temperature towers, running your retraction settings, running everything you would normally run. Run it just to fine tune for your printer. It's going to change from printer to printer, to location to location, to person to person. So get those things settled, get your G code set, and let's get to it. All right, so the first thing I think I'm going to want to print here is probably the chest piece. It's probably going to be the largest and take the most amount of time. So let's do it here. Let's see. These are all chest pieces. Let's just grab them. Let's shift to grab all of these. Uh, there's a left two, a right two. But only one middle. So let's see what the difference is between these two. Let's just put them into the slicer and see what happens. All right, they're loading in. Uh, no, I just want to print them as multiple parts. Okay, so it is two different pieces. Okay, so I'm assuming they do go together. All right, so I mean, yeah, most of this stuff is already in here. Let's get rid of that and then just add in. Essentially, let's, let's try to print the whole chess piece. So let's grab this guy. This guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. It's probably going to be way too much, but I just want to load the entire chest in. 
Da, da, da. Do, 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 That takes it a while. Apologies for my slow computer. I'm doing this on my laptop down in the basement. I, I should have done this up top, but my son is asleep, and I can't really do it while he's asleep because I am very loud. So we're going to do it down here. And just bear with me. I might just skip through this a little bit. Fast forward. <laughs> Let me check one other thing. I, I feel like there it is. Okay, okay, it is textured. Okay, I was concerned that it wasn't textured for a minute. Let's go ahead and arrange all of this. Do, 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 do. See if we can fit it. Oh, two build plates. Oh, wow. Actually, most of it would, would fit here, but we are not going to print things like this. This is asking for failure. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, and they see a lot of these things. Might actually be pieces that go on top. So these pieces might be actually supposed to be in red instead of blue. So I, I see here, okay, this is the actual chest here. It's split, and these pieces are the spider or the spider emblem on Spider-Man 2099. That's what it is. All right, guys. So, yeah, so I'm going to print everything in blue first. I, I looked up a reference image. I, I have it right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but essentially all of the little pieces are meant to accent in red. I, this looks really cool in this color, but I want to do it in Spider-Man 29 traditional colors, which is blue and red, well, like every Spider-Man, right? And so what we're going to do is we're going to delete these. Actually, we're going to move them to the other build plate. That's what we're going to do. There we go. So they're all going to be on a separate build plate. These guys, however, are going to have to print in a very funky orientation. So let's see what we got available here. All right, so let's let's see. How can we lay these things so they print really nicely? There's an option here. Let's let's check that out. Okay. There's an option here. Right, right there, okay. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's do that and this guy and arrange them on the build plate like this. See if we can't get them. Oh my goodness, I tried to put them all in here again. <laughs> Let's just get rid of these. All right, these are, what are these? They're Gribble. Okay, so they are named, so the these, the grib, Gribble, can be deleted. Those are all going to be printed in red. Delete that. Delete that. Get rid of this build plate. Just work on this one. All right. So now if you do control all and arrange. There we go. Okay. So we can print essentially the entire chest for this. Um, this looks a little dangerous though. So Maybe it might be better to rotate it onto a different path. So this looks a little dangerous, but that actually might be my best option. This head looks a little more flat, but it's not super flat. I just have to print it at an angle. Which, I mean, I think this might be, uh, that might not be the best. The sharp point right here. This won't print very well. This will fail. So let's go back to how I had it originally. Let's get rid of this guy right here. Let's rearrange them again. Can I move them a little bit? Awesome. All right. So now, how do we support this thing? Well, it's a very thin. Um. So what I like to do is add in my own supports just because 
this thing is gonna be fun to deal with so um this is what i have found to be the magic number with a lot of these things here but as you can see like it still tries to highlight too much so sometimes getting lower to what i want to try to do is get these areas here right so get this get this but watch it's going to paint the whole thing which is not ideal you don't really want that right because it's going to be since this thing is essentially going to be floating what i also like to do is essentially get this bottom piece that it's going to be sitting on and then possibly even like here just to make sure that's well supported uh, this guy here because this is definitely going to be printing in the middle of the air uh, let's see where else would we need some supports um, i would want to support this but here's what we're going to have to do with this i actually have to do sphere and draw in the support which is always fun when you're working with a keyboard and mouse let's just paint some let's just get it green so it knows that this is where i want supports all the way up all the way it might be easier if i go down oh look at that super straight lines guys super straight all right that should be okay and then this is angled downward just a smidge let's get some supports there just to be safe okay so that one's done let's do this one same thing we're gonna do the exact same thing on this one i'm gonna try to fill oh this one might work a little bit better than the last one did so we're gonna try to get this 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 supported i'm gonna try to get this guy supported there and this Support that and this guy here okay and then this guy and let's get actually underneath this because this is gonna determine a lot of success or failure of the print let's change that to 2.5 so we can get more you know yeah you can just add a couple lines in here and it'll know what to do there we go all right so we got that now let's slice it and see what happens so over here in my settings i'm going to do it at 0.2 millimeter layer height let's go to strength uh for a chest plate i want it to be relatively light so i might but i want it to be strong so i might do three walls and i might just do 10 percent infill um grid should be fine you could always you could choose whatever you want i know some are better for others i usually always either do grid or i do gyroid so let's just let's just go with gyroid uh speed it's not going to change anything uh enable supports always want to check this uh, make sure to do manual i always like my tree support so manual tree uh any other settings you want to change here is up to you i like to give it like two or three skirt loops um an auto brim and let's go ahead and slice it this might take a second so i might speed speed up through it all right guys so here it is you want to do a a real good once over on everything oh look at that i did mess up so you see how this is all in blue that means there's no supports really and this is not really where it's touching the build plate as you can see here this has supports because i remember to add this section in so had i not caught that this would have probably failed during printing so it's a good idea to always check make sure everything that you think could have failed is being actually you know taken care of a lot of the details on the inside of things especially if they're going to be like armor i'll show you a perfect example right here um so actually uh, this might need supports on the inside 
that might be like a critical piece so i'm gonna add supports all throughout this but what i'm talking about mainly is like these little tiny details here here it doesn't really matter if they get a little messed up so like these little tiny it doesn't so much matter it i mean if you want to you can add supports and make sure that it looks perfect on the inside and the outside for you and it could help with it failing so if there's a chance this fails and the solution to the problem is to just add supports all throughout the inside but there's a chance that it won't fail and i get to use less filament which would be super helpful because right now we're at almost half of a roll i know once i add this this and then the other side over there it'll probably be up there but that's okay so let's go ahead and go back to prepare and let's just fix that little detail there that i missed and add supports in for the little pieces here so right here should be pretty simple bam look at that bam look at that bam 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 um well, actually let's not do that because then it's gonna freak the machine out and not know how to actually put supports in so just gonna support that whole thing let's go and do it the same thing to the other one okay same thing oh that's the one i just did doing this one all right so same thing essentially just make sure that's highlighted there where it's going to be sitting fit that in and oops where are you going? Where are you going? What you doing? What are you doing? Uh, let's move you down because clearly I can't see. Let's just get some supports in here just in case. You know, you never know if this might be leaning a little bit too far. But there we go. Let's re-slice this plate. Right, guys there it is let's just check it one last time make sure we're happy with the way that it did the tree supports uh, i'm pretty happy with this uh this looks like it it might not fail then look at that 18 hours like what like a whole chess piece well not the whole thing but the the base chess piece is going to be done in less than a day that's incredible with this k1 max if you guys missed it watch my review check it out i am absolutely loving this thing I know that I said that, was it worth it? Yes, it's 100% worth it for me because it's been working for me. Uh, there's a lot of people who still had issues with it. There's a lot of people who haven't had issues with it. I had my fair share of issues with it, as you well know. But yeah, 18 hours, that's not bad. That That's going to be, that's doable. You know, that's, that's, a, that's a day. Like if I did this on my, on my Elegoo Neptune 3 Max here, that would probably take, you know, a week if that if not longer and there's a higher risk of it failing if it takes longer because then you have changing in temperature the build plate might cool off a little bit too much and there's a lot of things that can happen but yeah so this looks great i'm actually going to send this off to the printer it's not going to start printing just yet i'm just going to send it so we can do print we can do let's just do chest it doesn't like when you remove the g code part so let's just do chest let's do spider man 2099 chest let's just do upload that'll send it and it should be on my printer now so let's check Let's go to jobs. It is not. Oh, wait, let's just refresh it. Do, 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 do. Is it on? Yes, it is on. Okay, I just need to make sure I turned it on because sometimes I don't turn it on. Oh, there it goes. It's actually uploading now. So, yeah, I'm pretty much going to print everything else exactly like this, I including the pieces that go on top. This might be a fairly heavy suit well i said fairly in in you know relatively speaking it won't be heavy but it in terms of the amount of filament that's going to go into this it's going to be a pretty hefty suit i'm already at half a 
almost half a roll of filament. It's probably going to use half. And then you have to account for failures. So I have I have one, two, three, four rolls of glue. One, two, three. Or actually, I have five rolls of glue. Three rolls of red. And if I need to, I can always order more. Uh, I do have black. I don't know why I bought black, but, you know, you always use that color for one thing or another. Oh, look, look at that. It, it sent it. Let's see. There it is. guys it's done all right that that took forever uh so total three days two hours 48 minutes it's a lot it's you know over one roll of, of filament that's fair it covers a lot of space so let's go ahead and just take a look at everything make sure it's how we like it it's being supported how we want it to be supported and it shouldn't fail the key with a lot of this stuff is is to check it and make sure that you believe that it's going to be okay. So, my apologies for that. That was my phone vibrating like a crazy. So, as you can see here, this goes over the build area. So, that's a bit of a problem on there. There's another one there. So, what we need to do with this... is rearrange it so but it looks like supports are good it looks like everything's good it looks like it just needs to be moved a smidge or if you would like you know it looks like well, let's see is it the yeah so it looks like the whole tree well a sliver of the tree comes out of the build area so it is a rearranging thing. So we can do a couple of things. Uh, we can move this guy over to here and this over here and then move this in just enough so that it's closer or you can rotate it. But then you'd have other issues like other things sticking out of the build area. That wouldn't be great. All right. Let's move on to the next one, see if we have to fix anything else. One eternity later. Come on, you can do it. Just switch over. There it is. Okay, this one doesn't seem to have any issues whatsoever. And this looks like it's going to be supported perfectly. This is going to have a lot of inside supports because I didn't want it to fail. It's got supports on the back because it is it is essentially arching backwards and I want it to be supported when it's doing that. And this this one looks great. Alright, so let's move on to the next one. Come on, you can do a computer. Alright, this one, I don't see any warnings. It seems to be being supported correctly. I think this one's good. This one didn't require too many supports because of the way that it's designed. It doesn't really need that much support, but I added some just in case. Uh, so this one looks good too. Let's go to the last one. Last one's looking good as well. That looks perfect. Awesome. So the only one that really needs to be fixed is the first one. So let's go ahead and go back to the first one. 
and let's just move things around slightly. All right, let's go back to prepare. guys while this finishes doing its thing i just want to say thank you again sorry for the heater just turned on again i just want to say thank you again for watching my videos it really does mean a lot to me uh, i didn't actually think anybody would be watching them but a couple of you guys have been leaving me some thumbs up and i see that you guys have been watching it so i'm going to keep making content uh, around 3d printing uh and things of the matter things of the matter of those sorts of things i don't know what i'm talking about I'm trying to be too professional here um <laughs> But yeah, so I'll keep uploading content. Uh, leave me comments. You can ask me as many questions as you want. You can give me recommendations on what I should do next or what you want to see. And I will do my best to do those things. Uh, I will also be uploading more content, hopefully more frequently, and getting things out to you guys as quickly as possible. Uh, that just finished uploading, so that's awesome. I will start getting things printed uh again everything that i'm going to be doing i'm going to be doing updates on over on tiktok uh and then i might just do one giant compilation at the end of the print of uh time lapses and things as uh, things like that how failed prints how, why they failed things like that and get those on a, on a on a video for you guys here on youtube but if you guys want to check out progress uh you guys want to see live pictures those things will be over on my social media uh, it'll be primarily TikTok and Instagram. Uh, you guys can look up the, that dude's 3D prints. It should be on there, but I'll also have links in the description of the video if you guys want to check those out. I'll also have a description, a link in the description for uh, these files here and how to get them and things like that. Those guys over at DO3D are awesome. They have tons and tons of really awesome files you guys should check out. I do recommend them. That's where I got the helmet and this whole armor set from. Uh, the guys over there are great. Uh, I will also be doing a couple of other videos here soon around my Elegoo Neptune 4 Pro. I know I've been saying that in the past couple of videos, but I'm really going to get on it. I know it's a not a new printer anymore, but I still think you know people will enjoy uh, having a video about it. So anyways, guys, thanks again so much for watching. You guys are the best. Uh, don't forget that we can all do better every single day. And have you guys a great day. All right, happy New Year's. I'll catch you guys in the next video.